Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 1382, balance the binary search tree. Um, so the way we'll be solving this problem is by using two key concepts. The first concept that we'll be using is an order traversal. So an order traversal basically means that you're storing all of the elements in the, in the increasing order. Um, so we, yeah, so increasing order, and then um, and we'll use recursion. So anytime there's like a tree problem, it's safe to assume there's some sort of recursion um, involved in the problem. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the reason why we need to do in order traversal is because we want to get all of the elements uh, in the increasing order, and that will help us create a balanced binary search tree. So the tree that's given to us is already balanced, but uh, sorry, already a binary search, but it's not balanced. So basically, it means that um, the left um, nodes are less than the current node, and the right nodes are greater than the current node. So they are a binary search tree, but not balanced. So the way we go about doing that is by just getting all of the elements in the right order that we want. So let's create a list. Right, and this list will be used to store all of the values in the right order. So let's do that. We create a list, um, and then, and the reason why we're creating it outside of the uh, the method is because we want to be able to access it in other methods as well. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is call an order traver traversal on the on the tree that's given to us, right? Um, so it's not really returning anything. So it's void the return type, and then an order traversal. Uh, let's just copy it. And the, the, the parameter that you're taking in is tree node. Awesome. All right. So once you have the in order traversal, what are the what is the first thing that we need to do? Always take care of the base case, right? So if root is equal to null, you would just return it. If not, um, what you need to do is you need to call in order traversal on the left side of the node first. And the reason why you're doing that is because you want to add the elements that are smaller first. So basically, you want it to go in increasing order so you'll call it on the the left node right um and then the current node that you have will um uh, what does what does this do yeah you just need to add it to the list a list dot add uh, root dot value so it's being added in the right place so, and everything that's greater than the element needs to be added after so what you need to do is you just need to call in order traversal on the right um, node after. So what exactly is this doing? So what you're doing here is that because you want to add all of the elements in the right order, you're calling it on the left node first. So basically everything to the left uh, or the elements that are less than the current element will be added uh, and it'll, it'll be called recursively. So you can ensure that the, the order that it's is stored in is correct. So that's actually the entire pr the process for in order traversal. If you haven't uh, learned traversals, there are different kind of traversals: pre tra uh, pre order traversal, in order, and post order traversal. Highly recommend going through them because it's very important for interviews to know um, what traversals come in what order, um, like what node goes and what go goes into what spot in those traversals. So highly recommend looking into that. Um, back to the problem. So, okay, so we have all of the elements in the order that we want, but now we actually have to create the, the binary tree, right? So, um, okay, so we need to return the tree node, like the root node, um, and let's call it like build BST, bounced. Uh, let's just call it build tree, right? Okay, and what does it need to take in? Uh, a couple of things actually. So. It needs to call this, but it needs to pass in where, like what side of the list that you're looking on. So because you need to traverse the entire list at this point, 
you're telling the method to start with zero and you're telling it to go all the way to the end of the list. So that would be, right? Uh, and this will return the root node. So you would just return whatever this method sends you directly. So this is taking into two parameters start as in where you need to start the tree. Uh, as in like, like what is the starting index for the list that we care about and what's the ending list. So basically what you're doing here is that everything you first need to get the, the mid element, right? So mid would be equal to end minus start uh, divided by two uh, plus start. Right. So at this point, um, mid is dividing the element into two parts, the left side and the right side. And because your elements are already sorted, you can use the left side of the uh, of the list to create the left tree. And then you can uh, use it right side of the list to create the right tree. Right. So you just need to call the current node. You will create that using the mid node. Right. So the mid value. Um, so how is that done? So it's like new tree node, and then you just pass in the value. So that would be list.get mid, right? And then you need to uh, create the left left node and the right node, right? So node.left would be equal to basically recursively calling build tree, right? But what's the left and the right? The left would be the start, but the right would be mid minus one. So basically the left side of the list, you're again dividing that into two parts um, and creating the left node and the right node. And then the node dot right would be equal to build tree, but you'll be calling this on the right side of the list. So mid plus one divided by and end, right? And in the end, you just return the node but the one problem with this method is that there's no stop condition, right? It would keep going and going and going. So you need to check whether the start of the left and right actually makes sense, like the, the start. So if the start is greater than end, you would just return, uh, return no. So basically it means that at any point there are numbers that don't really make sense for the start and the end, you would just return null as in like, um, you're returning null and there's no, it's no longer called on anything first and second is that whatever doesn't have a node further in the future it just points towards null um awesome so let's try compiling this and seeing if this is okay the first test case looks okay everything else looks okay as well awesome um so let's try over the space and the time complexity of the solution uh, this time complexity of the entire solution is O of n because we are uh, traversing through all of the nodes that in the given tree to create the list and uh, create the BST as well. And the space complexity is also O of n since we are using a list to uh, store all of the values uh, that was given in the, the, the original tree that was given to us. Awesome. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really motivates me to make more videos. Um, thanks so much. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.